Hello dear students and welcome back to this online class video. This is the second part of 11th chapter area and its boundary of class 5 subject mathematics and I am Jay Prakash. Let's start the class. Now let's have today's overview. So today's topic is practice time and in practice time we will solve many questions based on the finding length of one side of a square of a rectangle, their areas and their perimeters. So now let's start it. A. Arbaz plants to tile his kitchen floor with green square tiles. So you can see this is Arbaz kitchen room, kitchen room's floor and this is green tile with dimension 10 by 10. Okay. So one answer we can find here. If the tile is 10 by 10, so its area will be 100. Remember that. Okay. 100 square centimeter. Now let's know what is the dimension of the kitchen room floor. His kitchen is 220. So length is 220 centimeter. And width is 180. So how many tiles will he need? So let's make a solution for this question. Okay. So first write the given. Or you can write also we have. So what is given? Uh, length and breadth of the kitchen room length of kitchen and breadth of kitchen so it is 220 and uh, breadth is 180 so first we will find the area so area of kitchen floor is equal to what is the formula of uh, area of a rectangle it is length into breadth we will write here l into b so length is 220 multiply by breadth is 180 so after multiplying these two numbers we will get 39600 it will be its area of the kitchen floor now in second step we will find the area of one green tile okay and it was length into breadth means side into side it is in one square so side into side you can also write here side into side so 10 by 10 10 10 it is 100 now number of tiles you can write number of tiles is equal to area of kitchen means you can write area 1 okay divided by area 2 area 2 means area of one tile so divide the numbers so it will be 3 9 six zero zero means thirty nine thousand six hundred divided by hundred so two zeros you can cut so you will get three hundred ninety six as your answer so we can say that three hundred ninety six tiles uh, he will need now come to the next question question b the fencing of a square garden is 20 meter in length fencing Fencing means it is perimeter. Remember that. How long is one side of the garden? Okay, so let me zoom it and here I will make a solution for it. Oh. So we can write fencing or perimeter. Perimeter of garden. Perimeter of garden is given uh, 20, 20 meter. So what is the formula of perimeter of a garden? Garden is that is in square. Okay, square garden. So it is side sorry 4 into side 4 into side is equal to 20 meter now here 4 is multiply with side so side we will write left side and 4 we will interchange into the right side so it will be 20 divided by 4 why I am writing here divide, divided by because left side it is multiplied with s so right side it will be divided by 20 so s is equal to 20 divided by 4 you will get 5 so 5 meter it will be your answer so now we can say that the length of one side of the square garden is 5 meter okay now next question is question number c c is a thin wire 20 centimeter long is formed into a rectangle for example this is 20 meter uh, 20 centimeter length wired 
and it is formed into wire sorry so in four sections in four parts we have to divide this now next if the width of this rectangle is 4 cm so what will be its length so it's very easy let's make a solution for it now so we have a long wire with 20 cm means it is its perimeter so we will write perimeter of rectangle why i am writing rectangle because width is given uh, as 4 cm so length cannot be 4 because if the length is 4 so its perimeter will be 24 only sorry uh, 4 4 ja 16 and we, here we have the perimeter as 20 so now it will be rectangle now let me write the formula of perimeter of rectangle so it is uh, 2 into length plus breadth so perimeter of rectangle is given that is 20 centimeter and here we will write 2 into length plus breadth so length is not given breadth is given it is 4 centimeter so now what will we do here here 2 is multiplied with length and breadth so when we will interchange to the left side it will be divided by 20 and here we will write length plus breadth so 2 vanja and 2 tenja 20 so 10 is equal to l plus 4 now 4 is added with l okay so when we will interchange to the left side it will be subtracted from 10 so 10 minus 4 so here we will get 6 so length is 6 centimeter so in this way question number c is also solved now let's come to question number d a square carom board has a perimeter of 320 centimeter how much is its area so remember that we have a square carom board with perimeter 320 centimeter so let's make a solution then remember here first what is given perimeter is given of a uh, square so perimeter of a square is equal to 320 and we have to find area so how can we find as you know that area of a square is equal to side into side and we have uh, no value of side so first we have to find the value of side so now uh, using this formula perimeter of a square we will find the side now perimeter of a square you know it is 4 into side and equal to 320 now side is equal to 4 is multiplied with side so right side it will be divided so 320 divided by 4 so you will get 4 8 ja 30 and it is 0 so 80 length of one side is 80 now put this value in the formula of area so area is equal to side into side so it will be 80 multiplied by 80 so 8 8 ja 64 and two zeros so 6000 400 square centimeter clear it will be its answer now come to the next question question number e how many tiles like the triangle given here will fit in the white design area of the design dash square centimeter so we have to answer this one but uh, for that we need clue and here is the clue that this uh, triangle is half of the centimeter squares so this is the diagram and in the clue you can understand that if we are making a square okay and triangle is its half one two we got two triangles means if we are joining two triangles so it will make a complete square so we can say that two triangle is equal to one square or you can uh, we can say that uh, triangle one triangle is half of one square okay one half sorry two half triangles mm, sorry two triangles will make one complete square so we can say that is uh, triangles are half of a square 
so how many triangles are here one two three four it is five and it is six so total we found uh, six triangles it means six triangles will make how many squares three squares so if we will find its area so it will be three square centimeter right six triangles you can say are three squares so both are equal in area so we can write here area of the design is three square centimeter so in this way we have completed our part one i hope that you have understand this all questions solutions and uh, there is no doubt and if you have any doubts you can ask in the comment section i will definitely try to answer that all questions and now it's time to say goodbye but before saying goodbye i want to say that if you like this video then must subscribe comment and share with your friends till then be safe be healthy jai hind